Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're actually going to do something interesting. Uh, so basically we're going to be using a tool called Hydroxide to make um, up values a lot easier which will allow you to make gun mods and other stuff for games like Arsenal which use up values for their ammo and stuff. So yeah, let's just uh, open my internal UI or whatever and execute the script. So the, it can take like some second. Zero is pro. pro. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. Okay, I don't think that was for me, but then this is basically as you can search for up values. This is to search for constants and uh, remote spy. Wait, no. This is remote spy. This is to search for closures. I can show this and this in other videos. And then these don't really work with signups. I don't know why. I'm going to guess because like signups has another word for them or something. But yeah. So let's just see like. Or well, let's just try to search. So. We can see that our ammo is 20, so let's search for 20, and you can see that we get all of these. So basically, you just sh or well, just test different ones, like this one. Change up value. You can do like 50. Yeah, that works. So for most of them, you will need to unequip and equip your gun. But yeah. So now we have an shit. So now we have an <laughs> uh, mod basically. So we can do just generate script. Then you'll see all of this stuff, which will allow you to make a quick script out of this. So now we don't really need to care about all of this. This is just the index and the closure name, the script path, and what it searches for. It search searches for closure right here, then change the value to this value. One second, I am just going to go let my cat out. Okay, I'm back. So now, if we change this to like 500, we should get 500 in ammo using this script. Yeah. And you can see that it doesn't disappear when we shoot. And yeah. And let's say we wanted to see all the other values. So then we can do... Uh, right click on this and not here. Uh, view all up values and you will see that we have a lot of different up values and we can try to find out up value so 41 oh, okay 41 that maybe doesn't even have an up value that's weird uh, let's try this one oh well let's just look through that one same thing that looks like to be for well that looks like it's for the knife i would guess give a tool that's also kind of weird <laughs> well yeah you can just look around and try to like fire bullet this might have some interesting stuff Let's try to change that 100, just to see if it makes some kind of difference. That looks like to be, like it's the recoil maybe? Because now we're not even... Oh well, it might be like... How accurate it is. Yeah. Let's try to change that to like 100. Yeah. Uh, so change it back to 100. Could probably open. 
that. Yeah, but like, now if we would want to do that, we could do... Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> I unmuted. Okay. Generate script. Okay. Oh. It's because I selected it right there. I would like to paste it down there though. So we don't need this two times. Or oh, like this aux thing. I don't know what's happening with this. I'm just going to open Visual Studio. Yeah, I'm inside of Visual Studio now and we can just generate script. Ah, uh, it said, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, um, could change that to like 500. And then we could do like. Oh shit. Yeah, let's just try to find that value again. It looks like it's th this value, maybe. Okay, so now if we would want to change another value, we could just copy this into there. And now we don't need this. And since this is the same function, we can do debug.setup value closure, comma, which line is it? 12, comma, like 1000. And now we can just do while wait do end. Just do that if we want it to be prettier. And there we should have an gun mod as long as our script exists. Some kind of uh, 20 closure. Closure is there. Wait, if we just remove that, does it work now? Since it's still the same. No. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and you could probably make it like um, an closure comma twelve comma like one thousand. Uh, now we could use like the remote by to see if we could. Yeah, it looks like it's this one. Oh yeah. Mm. Generate script. Yeah, let's make this into the knife. Knife and then straight like wait. And then we could Actually, yes. like that, just to make it like easier, because all of those are false, so we could just, and yeah, it's just all white since I'm not using like the 
what's it called? Let's try to search for the current. That doesn't exist. Yeah, right here it does. Generate script. Uh, let's try to. Um, get up value. Should be it. Print. Let's try that. Oh shit. What have I done? Okay, yeah, but we could open a Lua file, I guess. Hmm. Let's just let's just close out that. And this gets the... I would guess we don't need this either. Yeah, why this crashed? I'm guessing because this changed the closure, which this is using. And this doesn't have an 12 up value or whatever. So it just fully crashed. I'm guessing at least. So yeah, let's see if we can just finish this. Gooey. Wow. That's interesting. Hydroxide. So we could go into the... <coughs> Sorry. Get up values. Up value. Yeah, it just needs a function and a uh, index that should work we believe get up value and we will probably need free print to string Hmm, that's really weird actually. But are we able to just change that? Nah. So we could just use some dark text then. I really wanted to do that with up values, but I guess we're not going to. Just removal. All of that. Um, gun, maybe. Roblox Pro 2014. Uh, otherwise, let's just try to find the GUI. Yeah, it's in GUI. Client. I've probably gone past it. I really like searching in large games because sometimes it even crashes, but... Wait, is that seriously a local smoky shit? Could I just went into here? A view script. 
Yeah, no. Shit. Let's try to, like, name, maybe. Yeah, let's actually, like, start the game so we can make sure that it exists. Now the gun name obviously exists. Bam boy, bam. Wow. Nani. Okay, uh, name tag. Yeah, but like, I think you get my point too. I'm just going to do this one last time. Oh shit. Print. If this doesn't work then... Yeah, no. So, let's just... So, what I would do is... If you just, I don't know, happen to find a way to get the crude gun. Let's just do it with... Thanks, um... Did I seriously crap? Okay, yeah, uh, I'm going to guess that it's going to get quite like it. Calico, okay. Let's try to see this in action. Obviously we couldn't, because... Roblox doesn't like me. PPSH. PPSH. Yeah, but I think you guys get the point. So if you would want to have this in a while loop, just create like a find for child and if this thing exists, then you change it. So yeah, bye guys.